Yo, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to explain the super keyword in JavaScript. Super is a keyword that's used in classes to call the constructor or access the properties and methods of a parent. The parent is also known as the super class. It's very similar to the this keyword. This refers to this object. Super refers to the parent of that object. Here's an example. We'll use inheritance to create a parent class of animal. Class animal. Our animal class will have three children, also known as subclasses. Class rabbit extends animal. Class fish extends animal. Class hawk extends animal. We'll add an empty constructor for now for the animal class. Then we need a constructor for the rabbit class. So rabbits, they'll have a name property, age, and a run speed. We'll assign these properties within the constructor. This.name equals the name that we receive. This.age equals age. This.runspeed equals run speed. Let's copy this constructor. Now with fish, fish don't have a run speed, but they'll have a swim speed. Let's replace run speed with swim speed. Copy the constructor again, paste it. Hawks in this example won't have a swim speed. They'll have a fly speed though. Replace swim speed with fly speed. Now let's attempt to create some of these objects. Const rabbit equals new rabbit. We need a name for this rabbit. You could just say a rabbit or if you want to be creative, you could say something like bugs bunny. Uh, but let's just stick with rabbit to keep it simple. Our rabbit will be one year old and has a run speed of 25 miles per hour. If you use kilometers, feel free to use kilometers. Let's do this with fish. Const fish equals new fish. The name of our fish will be fish. Our fish is two years old and has a swim speed of 12 miles per hour. Then with hawk, const hawk equals new hawk. Our hawk will have a name of hawk. Our hawk will be three years old and has a fly speed of 50 miles per hour. So when I run this program, we have an uncaught reference error. Must call super constructor in derived class before accessing the this keyword. So what JavaScript is telling us is that before we can use the this keyword, we have to call the constructor of the parent, the super class. Within each of these respective constructors, we will invoke the constructor of the parent, the super class with the super keyword. So let's do that for each of these constructors. Now our program actually runs now. So one of the benefits of using constructors is that if there's any properties that the children all share in common, we can send them to the constructor of the parent. As you can see, we're repeating ourselves a lot. Each of these children classes has a name and age property that we're assigning to each. We would like to follow the dry principle. Don't repeat yourself. So why don't we write this code once and reuse it? So within the constructor of the parent, we'll accept a name and age property. We'll assign this.name equals name and this.age equals age. Now we can remove that within each of the child classes so we don't repeat ourselves. There's less code to write now, but we do need to pass in these arguments to the parent constructor, name and age for each. And that's all there is to it. In this example, when we construct an object, either a rabbit, a fish, or a hawk, we'll accept three arguments, a name, age, and either a run speed, a swim speed, or a fly speed, depending on the animal that we're creating. Any properties they share in common, we can send to the parent constructor. It helps with code reusability, and there's a lot less to write. It's not that evident with three children classes, but imagine if you had hundreds of different classes. Like what if this was Pokemon? There's like what, a thousand Pokemon now? We would have to copy and paste those properties like a thousand times for each, if we're constructing individual Pokemon. But since all of them share those same properties, we can write it in one place, and make any changes only in one place. So let's test this to see if it works. Let's console.log our rabbit's name. 
which is named rabbit. Let's console.log the rabbit's age. The rabbit is one year old. And let's see if the rabbit has a run speed. 25, as in 25 miles per hour. Let's do this with fish, fish.name, fish.age. Let's see if the fish has a run speed. Name is fish, age two. Run speed is undefined because fish can't run because they don't have legs, but they do have a swim speed though. Swim speed, 12 miles per hour. Then hawk, hawk.name, hawk.age, hawk.fly speed. Name is hawk, age three. The hawk has a fly speed of 50 miles per hour. So that's how you can use the super keyword in a class to call the constructor of the parent. It helps with code reusability. Any properties that the children share in common, in this case a name and age, the constructor of the parent can take care of that. We don't have to repeat the set of code every single time for each child. We write it in one place and reuse it. Another thing you can do too with the super keyword is extend a method from the parent. So what we're going to do within the animal parent class is create a move method. Within this method, we will console.log the following message. The, add a placeholder, this.name moves at a speed of, add a placeholder, speed, mph for miles per hour, or if you prefer, you can use kilometers. Our move method will have one parameter, a speed that we need to pass in to use. So within each of these children classes, we'll write a method that also extends the move method of the parent. Rabbits will have a run method. We'll output the following message. Console.log. I'll use a template string. This, add a placeholder, this.name, can run. Let's copy our run method, paste it for fish, but change swim to run because fish can't run. This, this.name, can swim. Then with hawks, they'll have a fly method. Fly, this, this.name, can fly. With our rabbit object, let's invoke the run method. This rabbit can run. Let's do this with fish, fish.swim, this fish can swim, and hawk.fly method. This hawk can fly. Within each of these children classes, we're going to extend the move method of the parent animal. Within the run method of our rabbit class, not only are we going to output this message, we'll also extend the move method of the parent and display that message as well. To refer to the parent class, we use the super keyword. It's very similar to this, but it means the parent. Use the parent's move method. But we do have to send a speed argument. Let's send the run speed of the rabbit, this dot run speed. Let's do this with our fish class. We'll extend the move method, super dot move, send in this dot swim speed, and hawk, super dot move, this dot fly speed. Now let's take our rabbit, use the run method, and we should extend the move method. This rabbit can run. The rabbit moves at a speed of 25 miles per hour. Let's do this with fish, fish.swim. The fish can swim. The fish moves at a speed of 12 miles per hour. And hawk, hawk.fly method. This hawk can fly. The hawk moves at a speed of 50 miles per hour. So that's how you can use the super keyword to extend a method of a parent. All right, everybody, so that's the super keyword. It's a reference to a parent. It can be used to call the constructor of a parent and or access the properties and methods of a parent. And well, everybody, that is the super keyword in JavaScript.